we could be seeing huge battery upgrades on the Galaxy S11 and I'll be sharing all the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. So we'll no doubt be receiving a huge amount of leaks for the Galaxy S11 as we near launch, but today's new leak shows us a huge battery upgrade for the S11. Certification has appeared for the battery of the Samsung Galaxy S11e. It was spotted by Galaxy Club and there's also a photo included. The milliamp hour value isn't printed on the battery, but it does show us a figure of 13.36 watt hours, which when converted tells us that the battery capacity should be around 3,730 milliamp hours. According to Sam Mobile, this is the Galaxy S11e battery and means the typical capacity should range between 3,800 to 3,900 milliamp hours. And given that the S10e came with a capacity of just 3,110, this is a huge upgrade. While the design of the S11s has reportedly been finalized, we still haven't had any information just yet, so we're unsure if the size of the S11e is going to remain the same or increase, but if we have similar upgrades in battery capacity across the range, then this will no doubt impress many consumers. When it comes to the Galaxy S11s, the main upgrades are going to be in the camera department, and especially with the more premium models. Ice Universe tweeted that the Samsung Galaxy S11 has a high probability of using a new 108 megapixel sensor. If this is the case, it's no doubt going to be using Samsung's bright HMX 108 megapixel sensor. The sensor has been used in the Mi Note 10 and is a large sensor capable of taking very detailed images. When held up next to a 12 megapixel sensor, you can see it's huge in comparison. The 108 megapixel sensor is capable of taking images at a huge resolution of 12,032 by 9,024. The larger sensor size also allows it to absorb more light in low lit scenarios. When it comes to the rest of the cameras, we're expecting a quad camera setup on the S11 Plus, and rumors are that it will have five times optical zoom and a time of flight sensor. Many were hoping for an in-display selfie camera on the Galaxy S11, but leakers are stating that it's not going to happen. Samsung did also tell us last year that it would likely be a couple of years until the technology is ready for consumers, but something we may expect for 2021. Samsung did however file a patent for a new selfie camera that contains three cameras. While its predecessor had two in a pill-shaped form, the Galaxy S11 Plus may have three. Considering in-display is expected the following year, the Galaxy S11 Plus would seem the likely candidate for this patent. It's thought that the standard S11 is going to have a dual selfie camera, while the S11e is going to stick with a single punch hole camera. When it comes to the general design of the Galaxy S11, we aren't expecting too much change from the S10. Most likely, it's going to be slightly more refined with slimmer bezels all round. It is going to be using the new M10 OLED and we've got people speculating that the device may contain a 90Hz display, but still no confirmation from Samsung or any leakers. There are however reports suggesting the fingerprint authentication area is going to be much larger on the S11, and Ice Universe also advised that the appearance and configuration of the Galaxy S11 have been determined already, so we'll likely receive more leaks on the design in the coming weeks. Hardware-wise, it's of course going to be using the Snapdragon 865 along with the Exynos 9830, and Sam Mobile said that we could see up to 12 gigs of RAM with 1TB storage, and the base model starting at 128. It's of course going to be running Android 10 in the form of One UI 2.1, and if the S11e is anything to go by, we may see increased battery capacity across the range. There are again rumors of graphene batteries being used, but we pretty much get this every year and it never happens. While we are seeing many different concept renders, they're simply just concept designed by fans and not based on any information from Samsung. As with every year, we'll likely see price increases for each model, but hopefully it's not going to be too big. Earlier this year, we had the S10e starting at $750, the S10 at $900, and the S10 Plus starting from $1,000, so we can expect the S11 to be slightly higher again. 
Reports are now suggesting that the S11 launch is going to be on the 18th of February 2020, so it's not going to be long until some solid leaks start arising, and of course, I'll share them with you guys as they do. But as always, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Who out there is waiting for the Galaxy S11, and would you be more likely to choose the S11e if it has this much larger battery capacity? But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.